Hey everybody, this is Troy with Ebo Central. Today we're going to be taking a look at Ubuntu Mate. I know, some of y'all call it Mate. I'm just going to stay with Ubuntu Mate 21.10. But before we get started, please don't forget to like, subscribe, or follow my channel. It doesn't cost anything, and if you end up not liking me, you can always unsubscribe. If you want to follow me on my socials, maybe buy me a cup of coffee. Or better yet, become a patron to the channel over on Patreon. Those links are in the description below. We're starting out at the Ubuntu Mate website. We got it right here. It just says, for a retrospective future, a community-developed Ubuntu-based operating system that beautifully integrates the Mate desktop. Up top, we've got about features, the blog, download, support, get involved, Emporium, funding. And then down here, in a nutshell, Ubuntu Mate is stable, easy-to-use operating system with configurable desktop environment. It is ideal for those who want the most out of their computers and prefer a traditional desktop metaphor. With modest hardware requirements, it is suitable for modern workstations, single board computers, and older hardware alike. Ubuntu makes modern computers fast and old computers usable. Then it's got some screenshots, then some Raspberry Pi and GPD Pocket info, and then you go up. And if you do download this and you decide to install it because you do like the operating system, don't forget this website because you can come over here for support. You got community support, the official guide, other resources, and then they have a list of known issues. Should you run into those, you can come over here and get workarounds or you can get into the forum and get your questions answered. So we're going to go ahead and close out of the website. If you download Ubuntu Mate, put it on a USB or throw it into a virtual machine and boot it up, this is the screen you're met with. Right off the bat, you get the hello screen that says, thank you for downloading Ubuntu Mate. This welcome application is your companion for getting started. Once Ubuntu Mate is installed, the software boutique is available to help you install a selection of featured applications to get the most out of your computing experience. We hope you enjoy Ubuntu Mate. Then you click continue, and right here, you've got an introduction, features, installation help, community, chat room, install now, get involved if you want to help with the development, you can do that. You can shop, you can donate. If you like what the developers are doing, zip on over and throw them a couple dollars and help them out. And then your desktop layout. Now, if we click on desktop layout, right now we have the familiar drops down up top. You can do the mutiny, which is the old Unity look that Ubuntu used to have. Then you have the Redmon, which they say is a lot like Windows. And then you have Cupertino, which I think everybody here knows what they're getting at with that. It's more of a Mac feel. And there are more options. You've got a traditional, contemporary, netbook, and Pantheon. I've always liked the Pantheon, but to me, it really looks just like Cupertino. So, having said that, we can go ahead and go back to the familiar. We're going to use these settings, and then we're going to close. Now, first thing I want to do is I want to right-click. You can create a folder, launcher, open in terminal, organize desktop, or change your background, I'm going to go ahead and look at what different backgrounds we get. And right out of the box, you get a decent amount of backgrounds. I'm going to go ahead and just pick this one, and I'm going to close. And I kind of like the way that looks. So what we're going to do now is we've got two panels. You've got a panel on the bottom, and you've got a panel on the top. Your bottom panel is going to have all your workspaces. You've got four of those. You've also got trash. And over here, you got click here to hide all windows and show the desktop. So should you have many things open, you can just click that. All the windows will hide and you can show your desktop. Let's go up to the menu, drop down on the menu. We don't have anything in favorites yet. We can go to accessories. You've got backups, character map, make calculator, passwords and keys, plank for when you switch it over to the Cupertino look or the Pantheon look. And then administration, you've got install Ubuntu Mate, printers, software boutique. Let's go ahead and take a peek at that. And it says it is stocking the boutique. I like the look of this software center too, by the way. I think Ubuntu's is really beautiful, but this one, I just like the way they laid it out. You got different things you can look at here. You've got accessories. You just click on those and it lays it out and gives you an icon and then has a small little description of what that application does. And then you've got education. You can flip over to it. You've got games, graphics. You've got Blender, Darktable, Entangle, GIMP, GPIC, Inkscape. Then you've got internet, office, programming, sound and video. And then you can also go up here and you can do a search. Let's look for Caden Live. 
and there's Caden Live. If you wanted to install it, you just come over here, click install, and it would install. So if you download this, boot into it, take a peek at the software boutique. I think it's very impressive. Let's go back over. We were at administration, users and groups, collection, nothing. Graphics, you've got Eye of Mate Image Viewer, Mate Color Selector, Shotwell. You've got Transmission for your BitTorrents, Firefox Web Browser, Office. You have LibreOffice out of the box, and you have Evolution Mail as your mail client. Preferences, additional drivers, appearance. Let's take a peek at appearance. Okay, this is where you would adjust the theme that you're presently using. Right now, we're on a custom theme, which is this one. If you wanted to go to dark, you could just click on that, and everything changes to dark. And I actually kind of like that, so I'm going to keep that. And then backgrounds, we already looked at. Fonts. And then, of course, your interface. Changes you can make on menus and toolbars, your buttons, file choosers, and your preview. So let's go ahead and close out of that. Bluetooth managers, disks, displays, firewall configuration. Onboard settings, preferred applications, startup applications, sound and video. You've got celluloid, rhythm box, webcam, system tools. You do have the GW package installer. Should you download a Debian package online, save it to your computer. To install it, all you'd have to do is go right click on it. It would say open with. You want to open it with GW package installer and it will install it onto your PC. Kaja is your file manager. Let's go ahead and take a peek at that. Kaja, I've always liked Kaja. It's a, a lightweight file manager. It's just easy to maneuver and get around, and it's easy to get work done without it getting in your way. Over here, you've got your usual suspects. And then right here, you've got your regular home folders. You've got a set in icon view. You can change it to a list view or a compact view. I will go ahead and go back to icon. If you wanted to make those bigger, you just come up here, maximize them up a little bit. I'll just go back to 100. And that is your Kaja file manager. So let's close out of that. Go back over, system tools, universal access. You've got screen reader on board and then your control center. Let's check out the control center. I love the control center. It reminds me a little bit of what I get to use on some of my Arch distributions that I look at. But over here, you can install Ubuntu Mate, printers, software and updates, welcome screen, software updater, additional drivers, keyboard shortcuts, power management, Advanced network configuration, firewall. If you want to set up a firewall, just click on it. It'll bring it up over here. All you got to do is turn status. You can turn it on. And then you can go down here and start setting the rules for your firewall. If there's specific applications you want to allow access to the firewall, you can set them here and you'll be good to go. You can deny incoming, deny outgoing, or you can allow or deny whatever you want. So let's go ahead and close that. Mate tweak. Customize your desktop panel and window manager settings, appearance, plank preferences, about me, preferred applications, startup applications, and language support. So let's close out of that. One thing I do want to look at is terminal. We'll go ahead and open that up, and I want to see if they have HTOP installed. And they do have HTOP installed. At present, I have three gigabytes of RAM issued to this machine. We are presently running at rest with just the terminal open at one gigabyte. It's a little bit heavier than some of the XFCE distros I'm looking at, but it is lighter than the regular Ubuntu GNOME that I just did a review on. It's about a half a gig lighter. So Ubuntu Mate is definitely giving you the advantage of having that Ubuntu environment, but at the same time, it's lightening up the usage resource on your machine at the same time. So let's go ahead and close out of that. Now you want to come up here on the right side of your panel, you've got power, you've got date and time, you've got sound, you've got notifications, and of course, you have your internet. Well, that was a quick overview of Ubuntu Mate 21.10. What do you think about it? Is it something you might download, throw in a USB, put in a virtual machine, and take on a test drive? Let me know in the comments below. Do me a favor before you leave today. Please like, subscribe, or follow my channel. It doesn't cost anything, and if you end up not liking me, you can always unsubscribe. If you want to follow me on my socials, maybe buy me a cup of coffee, or better yet, become a patron to the channel over on Patreon, those links will be in the description below. Thank you for watching my video, and I will see you in the next video.